Look at that! The player seems to be suspended in the air. Hello everyone! In these videos, we can see that the players don't fall back after the smashes. Let's explain why. Gravity accelerates objects. If you throw a ball upwards, its speed decreases, it stops, and then accelerates as it falls back down. This is due to the weight and acceleration of gravity. Because of this acceleration, the curve of height versus time describes a parabola. The same applies to a jumping player, which rises maximum height and then fall back down again. But what happens during smashes like this one? Ultrafast camera shooting at 4000 frames per second make it possible to see that the player no longer seems to be affected by gravity during the smash. This is due to the centrifugal force of the arm on the racket, which rotate extremely rapidly during a powerful smash and pull the body upward, at least partially compensating for the body weight. During the jump phase in red, the curve corresponds to the half-ascending parabola. During the smash, the player remains at constant height for around 150 milliseconds. It's only after the smash that he begins to descend, where his curve describes the half-descending parabola. The following videos show players suspended in the air as the centrifugal force of the smash compensates gravity. You can notice that when the shuttlecock reaches the net, the player is still in the air. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon for another video about the physics of badminton.